The overdue completion of the Sabins Bay Fisheries Facility elicited immediate expressions of gratitude from the many V4 North fishers who depend on the facility to ply their trade. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre was on hand to hear directly from them following the August 5th handing over ceremony. So I am one that was suffering from that. I'm very happy to get myself on that. Yes, you know, today and I'm very happy to be there. I'm not a I'm not doing um, seamless, but I'm a fisherman. I'm going out fishing every day, bringing dolphin, my my lobster, whatever. I'm doing. Yes, sir, sir. Thank you. Honorable Pierre, during his previous tenure as Minister for Infrastructure, initiated the construction of the Sabans Bay Fisheries Facility back in 2015. However, construction stalled after a change in the political directorate in 2016. Some six years later, and within one year since his appointment as Prime Minister, Honorable Pierre has ensured V4 North fishers have a fully functional fisheries facility. We're here this afternoon to usher in not only the fact that the fishers are going to have better facilities, the fishers are going to have facilities that they need and they deserve, but to create a business model that I hope will develop. I hope the business of cooperatives develop in St. Lucia. And this is why when I was allocating portfolios, I allocated the, the cooperatives portfolio within the Ministry of Commerce to send the signal that cooperatives are a business. There are major economies of the world that have developed because of cooperatives. Member of Parliament for V4 North, Honorable Moses Jabaptiste says, the improvements to the Sabans Bay Fisheries Facility has the potential to spur increased economic activity and facilitate greater access to the emerging CMOS sector. Because of the jetty and the facility, we have more people who are willing to participate in this economic activity because it's easier to go to their farms because of the jetty and because of the facilities. Now we have water, electricity, washrooms, and so on. What you will see happening is even more people coming into the CMOS industry, of course, with the help of the Department of Fisheries and Export St. Lucia, and so on. So I wish to say to you that this is very important. This is very important. It is a tangible way of improving livelihoods in small communities. The government of Taiwan played an instrumental role in the development of the Sabans Bay Fisheries Facility. Project costs are estimated at EC $1.48 million. And we are glad to see that the facility is now handed over to Goodwill Fishermen Cooperative Society Limited. I know they are in good hand and I believe they will take on good responsibility on proper management and maintenance. And I also have something to announce. Uh, I know Sargazan is always bothering our fishermen. So since last year, we work with Ministry of Agriculture to try to find a way to deal with that. And we send some sample to Taiwan, and the outcome is quite promising. And very soon, in the... Uh, thank you. In the end of this year, uh, in the end of this month, we will send a group of specialists come and do, do some research, and I hope we can come up with some good solutions. The Sabans Bay Fisheries Facility was officially handed over to the Goodwill Fishermen Cooperative Society Limited on August 5th. Users of the facility now have access to industry-specific amenities that can enhance production and also improve efficiency in the local fisheries sector. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.